How do we communicate in a way that works? What is effective communication? That's what I want to talk about with you today. If you feel like communication problems or communication breakdowns are present in your relationship, I want to give you one skill today. I want to just one skill. Communication is actually a big subject and uh, the 30,000 foot view of communication is for most people what we say, right? We A lot of times when couples say we want to improve our communication, what they're really saying is we want to get better at talking. We want to get better at saying what we're saying so that our partner doesn't get angry. And that, that's good. That's a good start. That's like, you know, three fourths of the way there. But the other quarter of that is communicating understanding and communicating in a way that works. According to, to the research, the first three minutes of a conversation, especially a conversation around some sort of issue where there's conflict, like, you know, if we talk about intimacy or money or home or in-laws or child, you know, differences in how we raise our kids or uh, a variety of other things, but these are kind of like the big five that I named off. If we look at these things, the biggest issue that couples tend to have in their communication is how they bring the problem up, right? So if the first three minutes are the most critical of a conflict resolution and the most critical to the health and safety of a relationship, if those first three minutes can tell us more about the where the couple is and where the couple is headed, if those first three minutes are so critical, here's why those, here's why those first three minutes are so important. One, if you bring up a problem in a way that instigates uh, a fight, it's over, right? It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care how justified or how right or, uh, you know, how hurt you are. It doesn't matter. If I go, hey, you're an a-hole and you, you need to do this and that, I have yet to find a human being on the planet who goes, oh, thank you for telling me that, honey. Oh, God, you, you just called me an a-hole and, and you're so right. And I just, I want to listen to you now. I want to own this. I, I, I thank you, right? Nobody does that. If in the first three minutes, if in the first 30 seconds, you open up an issue in a way that's toxic, it's over, it's done. The water, the water is now toxified, right? Now, if you bring up a problem in a way that maybe invites conversation, incredibly helpful. Here's the other part though. If your partner responds in a way and you know, you say you start in a way that's helpful and opening a conversation and then your partner reacts or responds in a certain way, it's over. First three minutes is enough time for you to say something in a nasty way, for your partner to react in a nasty way, and then for both of you to escalate and then resolution's over, right? Once we've gone out of that place of feeling safe, it's over. Communication problems really can be resolved if we enact one practice uh, and it is not the complete answer, but it's the beginning and I want you to have the start of it because those first three minutes are critical. How we bring up a, a problem oftentimes determines the outcome. It's kind of like if you ever wake up in a really bad mood and then the day is ruined. You ever had those days where you're just like, oh, I woke up terrible today and then the rest of the day is just terrible, right? Uh, well, yeah, it's the same thing with bringing up a problem. If you bring it up in a certain way, the outcome, it's over. Here's the formula that we follow. Hey, honey, can I talk to you for a minute, right? We ask for consent. Formula first is we gotta ask for consent to be able to have a serious conversation. What if your partner is like deep in thought about work or stressed out about, I don't know, maybe they just found out that their uncle died and you don't know that, right? And then you come in, barge in. You, you gotta ask for consent first. Can I check in with you about something or can we talk, right? And then the second, and we all know that when somebody's like, oh, can we talk? We all know it means something serious, but it also prepares us and can kind of help us go, okay, I'm gonna set some time aside now to listen to you and to address an issue. Um, and then I also have the ability to say no, like my uncle just died and I'm not in a good place to listen. But if I didn't get that consent and somebody reacts to me, I'm gonna make a whole story about it and I don't even know that, oh, damn, your uncle died. Oh, wow, you, you just got that news and I didn't know that. And I just barged in with my issue. So we asked for consent. And then the second part of the formula is figure out the situation that created the feeling. When this happened, I felt this way. When this happened, I felt this way. A lot of us are gonna feel a lot more receptive to that, right? If I just barge in through the door and my wife's doing dishes and you know something happened with her family or something that's you know really gotten to her and I say, hey, I'm, you're a jerk. You know, this happened yesterday and you didn't listen to me. 
she's not going to like gently put down the plates and go, oh, okay, well, gosh, you know, let me be empathetic to you. And I feel really receptive to you calling me these names. Nobody does that, right? But now if I come in through the door and I say, hey, uh, honey, I noticed you're doing the dishes, but can we set a moment aside to chat? She can say, yeah, let me finish this dish. Or she can turn the water off and turn towards me and say, yeah, what's up? You know, let's, okay, tell me what's going on. Now we've created that time and that space. And then the next thing, if I bring up the situation, yesterday I asked you for time together and, and you didn't really respond and I felt sad. Now she has an opportunity to connect with the situation and the emotion. And now we've managed the first three minutes because most likely if I say that to her, She's not gonna go, oh no, I, right? It's less likely that she's gonna be defensive. It's less likely that she's gonna be triggered. Now, if she is triggered or she is defensive, there's some other things that we can learn on how to manage that. But for right now, my number one goal for you is learn how to manage the first three minutes. And then actually, let me make that a little simpler for you. Manage the first 30 seconds. Manage the first minute. Start really small. Get really interested in the, in the small things, right? Uh, this wonderful book that I really love, the Tao I Ching, it says that if you can focus on the small things, you'll take care of the big things, or that anything that is big is a bunch of small things, right? A house is a huge project. Building a home is a huge undertaking. Buying a home is a huge undertaking. And how do you build a home? One piece of wood at a time, right? How do you buy a home? One dollar saved at a time, right? This one step at a time. And so get good at managing that first minute. And that first minute is how I bring up issues using some sort of gentle engagement, asking for consent, then using a gentle engagement, which is a situation and an emotion. And, that, and, then, and then just just play with that. There's more that we can go, but I don't want to overwhelm you right now. I want you to become a relationship master. I want you to become a master at creating a healthy and amazing partnership. That is my goal in all these videos for you. I want you to have an incredible relationship my parents divorced when I was really young and when I was born, my mom was actually murdered and then I lost my parents and then I was adopted. So for me, this is very, very important that I teach you how to have a great relationship because I would have suffered less if my parents had an amazing partnership and knew how to hold it together. And I believe the same thing about you. I believe that if you have a great relationship, the world will be better because of it. If you have a great relationship, you're gonna feel happier. You're gonna to go to work and be happier. Your kids are gonna be healthier. And if you don't have kids, your community will be healthier. So this is a really deep personal uh, undertaking that I've, I've pursued to help you in your relationship because it's important to me that you have an awesome relationship. Not I personally believe, according to the data and according to my personal beliefs, there's nothing that will affect you more in your life than how your marriage is doing, how your relationship is doing. You know, uh, I, I had somebody recently say to me, I don't give a damn about what anybody thinks about me. It's really hardly anybody, nobody really riles me up or gets under my skin, but things that happen in my marriage, they really get to me. And I want a good, healthy relationship because when we're not good, it's like the rest of my life is not good. If I'm not good with other people, I, I can do okay. I can be just fine. I can even be happy. But when my relationship is off kilter, it, it totally rocks my world and I notice it spreads everywhere. If you can learn how to manage communication and conflict in your marriage or in your committed partnership, if you can manage that, and if you can manage just the first 30 seconds to a minute, you'll get better everywhere else. Just manage that first and follow those steps that I gave you. And now, if you're watching this video and you want more information, I'm excited, right? This is my passion. I write constantly producing articles, trainings, videos. I want to give you the best. And one of the best ways that I can help you right now is by encouraging you to check out the Save Your Marriage training. It is a free training that we've created at lastingloveconnection.com. Me and my wife together have put this together for you to educate and train you on how to have the best marriage possible, how to save your relationship. And if you're not in a state of, you know, trying to save it because it's not on the rocks, this, this, this program, this training is still for you and it's absolutely free. All you need to do is plug in your name and your email and we will digitally send you everything that you need to get started in this training. I will see you over in the training at Lasting Love Connection. Check out the link down below and I'll see you over there.